Hey, what's happening guys? I thought today we'd uh, take a look at this meter and more importantly inside this meter. Uh, this is my Centec P98674 which has been my primary meter for about 18 months or so ever since my trusty Fluke 12 died. Now this meter is a Harbor Freight Special and as you can see it currently sells for $60 from Harbor Freight but it's not um, a super cheapo meter it's actually a rebranded mass tech and you know it has some very nice features including the light up uh, jack input jacks that tell you where you need to put your probes. Um, let's go around. It measures volts, AC and DC, diode, continuity, capacitance, resistance, microamps, milliamps, and amps, hertz duty cycle, uh, temperature, decibels, lux, and lux times 10. And then if we look up here, it has both a sound meter, a light meter, and a relative humidity and temperature meter. And you know you can see that up here we have temperature 73.9 Fahrenheit, 61% relative humidity, and we can toggle between Celsius and Fahrenheit. So this uh, selector switch is starting to get just a little bit crusty so I thought I'd open it up clean it and um, take a look at what kind of input protection it has because to be honest with you I've never looked inside of it I've just used it and uh, gone on blind faith so let me get the screws out and uh, we'll come back and have a look inside alrighty so I got the back cover off and we're inside and you can see we have an HRC fuse here, 10 amp, 250 volts. There is our current shunt. And if we look down in here under this very strange, whoa, add-on board. We've got four diodes going on down there and a mauve. Focus. A mauve right there, that green guy that says 75S on it for protection. So that makes me feel better. It is uh, safe to use on mains here in the US. Now this chip here is labeled GC7721A0 space P3. I couldn't find any info on it at all. And let's come down here. Look at that one. That chip on board. I don't know what that schmoo all over it is. This is some 91% isopropyl. Yeah, it's got some definite dirt going on there. I'm not quite sure. That's probably the display driver chip. What does surprise me about this is the amount of through hole components on here. I mean, if you look, it has plenty of surface mount ICs that you would expect to see in a modern meter but it also has a bunch of surface mount capacitors and there is a uh, crystal there and another crystal here so very interesting
let's see if we can take this board out of here so I can access the switch and perhaps clean up some of its crustiness. This um, sensor up here at the head that has the temperature and humidity hmm. I was kind of hoping that could have slid out Hopefully that should free up the board, and it did. Alrighty. Very nice. Let me uh, take a second and have a look here, and I'll be back. All right, so that cover popped off and you can see our selector grid here I don't see any particular schmoo but what I do see and I think this is going to be typical of any cheap meter and if you guys can see it is a lot of flux residue up and around those components. I'm gonna clean this select select selector. <laughs> God man. I'm gonna clean off this selector grid here. Not gold plated. Also going to clean off the buttons and our switch contacts here as well now if we take a look here we can see the input connectors have little switches inside of them that reports back to the processor what jack you're plugged into and they also light up here are the little light pipes to let you know where everything goes okay so I'm gonna put this back together and we'll be right back all right the boards back in and you notice the uh, double-sided groove here and this that fits in there quite nicely everything goes together very tightly good blast protection there So I feel a lot better about this meter. Knowing that it has input protection, blast protection, HRC fuse. It should be a should be a good meter for some time to come for me. All right, let me put everything finished back together. All right, everything's back together. And it was a lot easier to get the uh, outer condom on than it was to get it off. So let's just give it a little test here and make sure that everything is working properly. Output 12 volts to it. 11.97. Not too bad. Go into resistance mode. Let's 
see if we can measure one of these little one ohm resistor jobbies here. Try a different one. I can't seem to get on that one. Well, that's reading a little high. 1.5 ohm. Let's try a uh, 10 ohm. Four. And we'll try a hundred ohm. A hundred's right on. Okay. Let's try capacitor. What do I got here? Uh, Ten microfarad. Ten point nine nine microfarad. Can't complain. So if you're in the market for a bargain priced meter with input protection and lots of functions, check it out. Again, this is the Centec P nine eight six seven four. That's it. I'm out. Peace.